Okay, so here's a mid-sagittal view of the brain, right? And here you could see the corpus callosum right along here, right? And here is that anterior cingulate gyrus, right? And here's the, it, the cingulate gyrus continues sort of all the way around back to here. And this lobe, or this region, actually, it was referred to uh, as a lobe by, by Paul Broca, who, right, who discovered Broca's area. He referred to this whole area that surrounds the corpus callosum as the limbic lobe, so all the structures that are present here. Um, now, if you look really close here, right, we can identify the pituitary gland right there, right? This actually up here is our optic chiasm, that white portion there. This is an optic nerve, right, that used to go to the left eyeball. And um, here is the, this is the little piece of gray matter that's connecting the two thalami, right? Here's the thalamus right in here. And then underneath it, below it, right, this area here is the hypothalamus right there, right? So the hypothalamus is connected to the pituitary gland. So the hypothalamus is, again, is the source of the, you know, pape circuit output, you know, going via the thalamus, right, to the um, anterior cingulate, right? And then there's the cingulum sort of coursing around this way, right? And then feeding back in, and it's, you got to see it, it's in here, right? On the medial temporal lobe, which is behind the brainstem over here, uh, but the medial temporal lobe, the, the hippocampus, right? And then from the hippocampus, there's projection back and then back in to there. It's called the fornix. That's the pape circuit. Now, Robert McLean um, is a U.S. neurologist who actually um, expanded you know, the list of structures that actually are essential or involved in emotional experience and expression. Um, he was right about many of them, and he was not as right about some. But he basically, um, you know, um, realized that, that this, this central PAPE circuit had, has a lot of important structures that feed in and off of it. Um, so that's not, it's not the whole, you know, uh, the end-all, be-all of emotional experience expression regions in the brain, obviously. You know, think about it, for example, there's the insular cortex, which is mapping that internal state of the body. That's definitely an important, you know, region in terms of your ability to feel, you know, all the changes that are occurring in your body in response to emotionally competent stimuli, right? So, um, McLean added a number of different structures. Um, he added a very important nucleus, okay, which is located, um, just, you know, anterior to the to the hippocampus. So, again, it's kind of hard to see, but let me actually try it this way. Um, if I take off, here we go. <laughs> so I've removed, this is our temporal lobe. This is from the lateral view, right? And this is from the medial view. So the hippocampus would be along in here. And, the, and just anterior to the hippocampus, deep in the temporal lobe here, so it's, you know, subcortical, is a, is a nucleus called the amygdala. And the amygdala... Um, is a very important nucleus um, in terms of your uh, your response to threat, um, and it generates quite an emotional kind of fear response. And we'll talk about the amygdala um, later in more detail. Other areas that he added in are areas of cortex that surround um, the hippocampus. So this includes um, a region called the parahippocampal gyrus. So, you know, that's, that's para means around, so around the hippocampus, parahippocampal gyrus. Um, he also added a, a region in the frontal lobe um, called the septal area, which is located, so if this is our, you know, uh, mid-sagittal cut, right? Here's the frontal, this is the anterior cingulates over here, and this region ventral over here is called the septal area. And it it is also cortical, but it's very important for, um, emotional experience and expression. There's a famous study by um, Milner um, uh, back in the, um, uh, in the oh, oh, God, quite a while ago now. <laughs> I'm going to blank on it. Uh, my hippocampus is not working. But it was a study that where they actually, um, you know, uh, descended an electrode into it. Um, and it was accidental, actually. But um, what they did was they gave a, a, a rat a lever to press to deliver electrical um, input into the septal area, and it turned out that the rat loved to do this and would and would you know press for stimulation in its septal area again and again and again you know to the exclusion of any other kind of you know motivating stimuli. It didn't care about food or a mate or you know water or anything like that. It just wanted you know some kind of you know electrical stimulation in this area. So it turns out it's part of that um, you know VTA. Uh, projection, mesolimbic projection, dopamine projection, um, and it's, you know, very motivating. So the septal area is another very important region, obviously, for emotional experience and expression. Um, there are some other brainstem structures that were added uh, as well. 
Um, but the limbic system you should think of as kind of the PAPES circuit plus, right? PAPES circuit plus a number of these other structures that feed into and off of you know, those structures that PAPES initially identified as part of that central core circuit that are involved with emotional experience and expression. And again, we're going to focus in on a few, uh, in particular, uh, the amygdala.